All right. Welcome to tutorial for generating the inst size for actors for Breath of the Wild. We are going to go ahead and load into the game with some actors that don't have good inst sizes. You can see here I'm using Zelda. She's very zelda -rific. Just happened to be out here in the desert. So, I've generated inst sizes already for most of these. In a previous edit of the video, I partially generated an inst size for the head, but I did not generate for either the shirt or the tights of the radiant set. So, I will go through the tights of the radiant set because it has physics, and then I will go through the mask. So, first thing you're going to want to do is the uh, tool, Breath of the Wild tool, which we will be using to generate the inst says, is a very simple tool. It's just a small executable and a run batch file, which will generate the log. And then the log will look like this. These are the names of the actors. In under placement manager, these are the names of the actors that are loaded. And then over here is the current size that they are taking up. Now, for actors in placement manager, this first number is kind of misleading. It's not the number that it's actually taking up. It's a kind of a different number. So what we're going to do is we're going to just to get a clean start, I'm going to run this. And then you can see these are all new actors. If you're running VS Code, it will update on its own. If you're running most other things, you'll have to, you'll have to reopen the file. You go, you search for emergency heap. This heap is where files or data that is too big to go into the heap designated by something else, this is where they go. So right now, you can see that I have 200 bytes in there. 200 bytes is the default that a heap will have in it just for the header. So we don't care about that 200. So we can see here that this heap, the emergency heap, currently has nothing in it. So we're going to go back to the game. And we are going to equip the tights. And we are going to go back to the tool. We're going to run it and see here that it reloaded. You can see that in the emergency heap, we now have an amount that is higher than 200. This means that our inst size is not big enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our calculator in programmer mode. Then we're going to take this amount here, minus the 200 for the header. That's one, two, three, five, mean six. And then we're going to scroll up to the top and in placement manager, since this was the last thing loaded, we know that this is the actor that we just equipped. Turning over here, and we're going to see that this is the inst size that the game currently has for this actor. We could see this. Actually, this isn't the exact inst size. It's the inst size plus 4 to 500. Um, you can see this. We've got wild bits open. You take the size. We can search for it. We'll go to another one until we find something with main model. Then we'll see the current inst size is 36636. Yeah, that's about 464 difference. Yeah. This number right here will always be 
somewhere between 400 and 500 greater than this number right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our calculator. We already had the number from the emergency heat plugged in there. And we're going to add in the amount that was added from the inst size. So, the, so this number right here, the 123596, is the amount from the emergency heap, and then 37100 is the amount from current inst size. You add those together, and you get what should be the inst size for both of them. Now, there's a little bit of a problem here in that the game doesn't always actually use the same amount for every time it creates the actor. Sometimes it'll use less, sometimes it'll use more, and we don't really know why. So instead of using this number, we're going to add a little bit to it. Uh, after a bunch of testing, I found out that adding 4 kilobytes to it is generally a good number. Now this number right here is what we're going to use for our interim inst size. I'm going to go over here, enter 164792, and then up here I'm going to search for the main model, Armor 17 Lower. So there's five of these, and that's going to be one for each upgrade of it each upgrade uses the same model. So we're going to enter that, then we're going to search, and then we're going to put back 174792, 164, 792, like the right numbers even though I say the wrong ones. Two seven nine two. I swear I know how to type. Now that we changed all of them, we're going to save it. And then, once it's saved, we can go back to the game and unequip it. Now, once it's unequipped, you've seen that I've unequipped it. We're going to go back here, and we're going to run again. We're going to go, and we see that it is equipped armor default lower because we've unequipped. We go back down to the emergency heap and we now see that the emergency heap is empty. And now, because the emergency heap is empty, without restarting the game, we can now go to the next item that we want to generate the inst size for. So, we'll go back to the game. And as I mentioned before, on a previous attempt to run uh, this tutorial video, I did the first half. Now you're going to want to, if your inst size is too small, you're going to want to do this twice for each thing. I've already done it once for the radiant mask, so we can go Mac and run it again. We'll see that there's no emergency heap amount for the radiant mask. So I'm going to go back up, I'm going to look at the head, and I'll see that it is 207284. I'll bring Wild Bits back up and search for the head one. And we'll see that the last time what I did was I added the amount from the inst size that we had, plus the amount from the emergency heap, plus the 4096, but what I actually got was about 7 kilobytes too large. And that's going to happen sometimes whenever you use the emergency heap, because if there's spare space in the area of the given by the inst size, but that spare space isn't big enough for what the uh, needs to be put into it, then whatever 
was going to be put into it will be put into the emergency heap. To say, for example, your inst size is 20,000 and you have 18,000 of it used up, that means you've got 2,000 left. Now, if the smallest thing that needs to get put into it is actually 4,000, then 4,000 will go into the emergency heap and 2,000 will be left over in the inst size map. And something like this happened here, where there was about 3,000 that didn't get used. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back here, and we're going to take this number, which is 207284. We're going to add the 4096 to it. And that's going to be our new number, or the head. We're going to take... I'm just going to do it. That's a replace. Because I know that they are all the same number. I'm going to do 11380. And you can see here as I go through each one, it's all of the ones that are upgrades from on our 7 1 head. All right. And then I save that. And now I'm going to have to restart the game and do another run for armor 17 lower, but now armor 17 head is done. That's, that's the inst size that it needs. And that's it. I've generated the inst size for armor 17 head. And now, without shutting down the game, I can now go back and do armor 17 upper, and then if there was another set that I needed to do, I could do all three from that set without shutting down the game, and then once I restarted the game, any ones that used the emergency heap from the first time, I would just do it again for those, and then I would have my proper inst size. And that's it. It's tedious, and we can't do it programmatically, but it's not all that difficult. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a good day.